Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. I have a little message for you from uh, the Answers in the Universe and we have there's a specific group that I have been communicating with off and on from the Orion sector and they refer to themselves as the Triforce Conglomerate. This group is a group of benevolent light beings that have been pretty much in the background because of the or the Ryan Gray group, which has been quite dominant. I have brought, introduced this group um, on a few different shows, including my own show, uh, Answers from the Universe. And uh, today I have a message from them, and we did a little communication work. As I say, and I often tell people, I do this work on a regular basis. I don't always share everything that I do. But on an occasion, if I feel directed, I will share the information with the public. So um, here's their message. Greetings, my friends, from the Triforce Conglomerate, a benevolent group of beings who have been assisting you from afar. We continue to hold the space to assist your process of ascension today was a great victory for us when the hidden settlement of Saturn was revealed and exposed. As you notice, it was a dark and foreboding place, void of consciousness. I had trouble going into the space. The darkness had a density and a feeling of separation from the God source. It seemed to close in on me like walls closing in on a room. The energy itself was thick like matter seeming to almost cling to my auric field. I wanted nothing more than to pull myself from the space upon contact and break free of it. On the other hand, I knew it would be benevolent for me to step into the space and break my connections that I have had personally through seemingly innocent agreements or malevolent alliances. I also had an intention to liberate any and all who may have fallen prison prisoner to this dark space that were equally unaware of strange alliances like these. So I severed all ties, connections, agreements, and I observed some, something that looked like belts and straps or bands breaking from me and liberating me from this dark abyss. We have been wondering why you had taken so long to see through the facade of dark, empty, soulless energy. Oh, are you suggesting that this is a soulless manufactured being programmed to spread low density, low consciousness energy with humanity and all those who came in contact with it? What you stepped into was a dark cube, a cube within a cube, an endless cubes. Each next cube is slightly turned and arranged so that it created its own lock. Curious onlookers would have would enter in one cube. It would then turn and they would then enter another cube, which would then turn counterclockwise and so on. There are typically few survivors who leave this space. This is how the soul is captured. Typically, the ones that fall most victim to it are those who have little regard for their soul. They toss aside consciousness for moments of many, vi of many vices, some are caught in this cube in search of darkness to create power in dark intention. This is not your typical exchange and experience, originally created for a process of learning. This object was created with the sole intent of soul harvesting. It would be best if this multi-cube system was destroyed. Well, what about the souls? I would like to rescue the souls before the cubes are destroyed. This is a unique process that you will need our assistance with. I can't ask you to do this with too many people on earth because they are at high risk of being pulled in. So now I shall present to you the complexity of the matter. The souls that are in the multi-cube system have bodies still on earth. And the prisoners that you have been searching for from Saturn have taken, o taken over their bodies. In order to restore the souls back to their bodies, the prisoners must be pulled from the human shell or suit. 
if that sounds more appropriate to you. So how do we do this? I would like to do it now. As you wish. The one you know as Rodan will be taking all the prisoners. Then we will assist the release men of souls with you and guide them back into the bodies as if they were in non-time space for quite a, quite a while. This part alone will, will resolve only one portion of the problem. The next part is to collapse each cube, one at a time, and then release the dark matter through the cleansing space with altering particulates. That will convert the matter back into its original form. In truth, the energy fueled for this matrix was from a benevolent being from long ago. Very likely the original Saturn, not the corrupt ones who overtook the planet. Today, you will find liberation for many. Just your consent is allowing the consent the process to begin. Don't worry about all the aspects of the process. Just focus on folding and collapsing each cube. We have begun the extraction process of the human bodies as we are speaking now. Zero time, landing, recovery data. The extraction process is enacted. The crimson wave is being pulled out and we're rendering them powerless. They're becoming immobilized. I see there is assistance of an Andromedan craft in an Alpha Centurion craft. The su subjects have been uploaded onto both vessels. The bodies are being decontaminated and prepared for reintegration. We have now begun the extraction process. You may now notice a small semi-vortex approximately 90 degrees to the right. The beings will be coming out as a stream and cleansed through a particle catcher. The first one has entered the body successfully and the rest are following through. There are approximately 100,167 bodies that need to be restored. And there are five that we are not presently see as a counterpart. Wait. They seem to be coiled together with additional bands. One of the Triforce is there now, simplifying the process of disconnection. The souls and the bodies are now fully integrated, but will be held in time space approximately three hours. This has been done on 5-31-2018 at approximately 3.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are letting go of the apparatus and it's time for you to collapse all cubes. You are complete. We see that all the cubes are now collapsed. The matter is being extracted and returned back to its original form. All of the life force is returning back to where it belongs. Two, three, gate, over and out. Thank you once again for your collaborative assistance. We plan on bringing in some of our representatives into your planet to reside among you. Well, thank you very much and I'm happy to help. So just to give you an overview of the conversation here, and I apologize if there seems to be a, a lack of understanding due to the, the voice contrast between the conversation. When they spoke to me, there was a, I viewed a very, very dark space and a being within the space. And once the being was released or removed, um, and I believe he was possibly um, part of the creation of this thing. And there was also um, the energy originally came from a very ancient soul. What they did was they created some kind of weird matrix that was a, 
a cube within a cube within a cube and it had a very strange locking system that if someone entered it, it would be very hard, almost a labyrinth-like um, in, in order to get through, but kind of getting lost, coming back out and not really finding the exit point and had trapped multiple souls. And, and somehow they were entering into the space through um, a low density, low consciousness uh, experience on the earth. Uh, it could be, you know, numerous reasons. Um, you know, sometimes the easy one is, is excessive alcohol and drugs and so forth. And so then they, apparently they're looking for bodies. So they're, they're kind of hi hijacking or, or tra tricking and trapping the soul to go into this space. And they have been doing this for a while, but as you can see that they were looking for, um, vacant bodies to use so that they can be a walk-in. It may look as if the soul voluntarily gave up the body by permission and suggesting that it, this, this is okay. Um, we consent to this because we don't want to be here. We're depressed. We're very unhappy. Uh, we're traumatized. We've been abused. And there's a variety of reasons why something like this could happen. And then um, the problem is, is that the body essentially becomes hijacked then by these beings that, that are, you know, entering in. And, and so um, they asked me to close this matrix so they can't utilize this energy to be able to um, pull souls from there, trap them, and then use their body. I just want to remind people too who do a lot of spiritual work and spend a lot of time in meditation or maybe even do shamanic work that when you do this and you're stepping out of the body sometimes you may step out of the body for too long and uh, it can be an opportunity for something to jump in so always protect yourself when you're doing those practices and and for those people who also um, uh, have uh, near-death situations many times they have uh, interesting stories sometimes personality changes afterwards that could be a walk-in and it could also be that, um, uh, you know, they stepped out and, and yeah, something else has joined them. So, you know, sometimes they become much more psychic and, and other things are, are happening there. So, um, I don't know. I, I just really felt like I, I needed to share this with everyone. I hope this is helpful. I'm glad that I was able to communicate with them and remove one avenue of how they were stepping in. I'm sure there are many others. So for now, I'm happy to provide this information and people may receive it, may not receive it, but this information is for those that want to know what's going on and keep updated with other dimensional um, data that comes through and uh, insights that I have that are very uh, often can be validated through others and continue to support this work. I will continue to provide information as long as people want to hear what's going on. I will continue to do a, doing this for you. So until then, um, have a great day. Thank you for listening. And keep stay tuned in to uh, the Andronicus transmissions, Answers from the Universe, and the YouTube channel, Jessica Ariel Morocco. Have a great day.